Hey guys, Nozzle here, and welcome back for another YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about Chucky from the Child's Play series versus Mama Tattletail from the Tattletail game. If you're going to enjoy this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. We will be using Chucky from the original like trilogy and continuity as such, since there is a reboot of him now and things are a little bit different for him, but we're just going to use the original version and yeah, let's just get into it. When it comes to strength attack potency for Chucky, his best like physical strength feat without weapons is being able to knock out a child with a single karate chop, which would put him at the average human level, which does make sense considering he's depicted as not very strong physically. However, his weapons make him much more a threat, having a knife and also being able to kill people with pretty basic weapons, and also has shown to have a grenade at one point, which can output the equivalent of 16 million joules, or enough to destroy walls although you could argue that grenades aren't standard arsenal for them. As for Mama Tattletail, she's capable of one-shotting the player who is a child, meaning that unlike Chucky, who can knock out a child with one hit, she can outright kill a child with one hit, and is also implied to be responsible for several like deaths among adults as well, which could imply that she's capable of one-shotting adults like she is the child, uh, which would mean that Chucky is physically stronger, or rather, Mama Tattletail is physically stronger than Chucky, however, Chucky's weapons would give him, or at least make him level with Mama Tattletail, Tattletail, with the grenade having them much higher if you grant him access to that. When it comes to speed, and Chucky is shown being able to outright outrun a grenade blast, which can travel at most up to 17.6 thousand miles per hour, which is further backed up with the fact that Chucky is able to easily dodge bullets in some cases. As for Mama Tattletail, she doesn't really have much for speed feats, uh, besides being able to blitz the main character who is a child. Even if we imply she's able to blitz any human, including a peak Usain Bolt, she would still be 756 times slower than Chucky's like outrunning a grenade explosion, so Chucky would definitely have the speed advantage. When it comes to durability, and Chucky has shown been able to survive a lot of things, such as being set on fire, which outputs the equivalent of 2.7 joules per second, gunshots, which can easily penetrate through walls, and large-scale car crashes, which can output the equivalent of up to 31,000 joules, or enough to destroy walls. Either way, Chucky would definitely be in the wall ranges in terms of durability. As for Mama Tattletail's durability, and it is a bit weird since technically she doesn't have any durability feats, which means that there's no like objective way to say that she's more durable than Chucky. We can make assumptions that like adults are not able to take her down, hence why she's lasted so long, so she'd be able to take punches from an average person, and maybe you could say that average person could have a gun on them or something, but there's no way to really say with absolute certainty that Mama Tattletail is like not or is more durable than Chucky. Which would mean that I mean we can go we can cover it in a conclusion if you have Mama Tattletail as durable as Chucky, but uh, for now, Chucky's definitely more durable. For abilities, weapon and techniques, Chucky has small size and body control, being able to control his headless body after being decapitated. He has inorganic physiology, stealth mastery, weapons mastery, explosion manipulation with his grenade, magic with voodoo dolls, electricity and weather manipulation, being able to summon storm clouds by using his chant. He has possession, being able to possess other things, along with soul manipulation, being able to separate his soul into other inorganic or organic things, along with resurrection, different types of immortality, being able to come back after having his head shot off and being shot in the heart, for example, and it can also be repaired as well, along with regeneration, being able to reattach his limbs and even his head, superhuman stamina, and a limited resistance to pain, since he does still feel pain, but he's able to twist his head 180 degrees with absolutely no side effects, for example. As for Mama Tattletail, like Chucky, she has small size and organic physiology, she has natural weaponry with her teeth, stealth mastery, enhanced senses, limited technology manipulation, being able to turn lights off, including a flashlight that's completely unrelated to her, if you even like, imply that she's able to do so with like a house or something. She has teleportation and possible resistance to magic and BFR, having resisted a ritual which is designed to banish her. So, I think it's quite clear that Chucky takes all of the, you know, abilities, versatility, and weaponry points. You can argue that Mama Tattletail's teleportation and resistance to magic, or possible resistance to magic, is quite OP, but Chucky outright has better abilities pound for pound, and we can get to the conclusion how their abilities counteract each other. 
As for weaknesses, and if Chucky does not like transfer his soul fast enough, he will be stuck as a doll permanently. His small size and low weight can make it hard for him to effectively fight people much bigger than him. He's prone to arrogance. If his heart is destroyed, he will be quote unquote killed because he can just come back after that. And his soul transfer ritual can take time and can be interrupted. Meanwhile, for Mama Tattletail, she doesn't really have any notable weaknesses, so that said, Chucky's definitely much more vulnerable than Mama Tattletail due to having just plenty more weaknesses. So overall, who wins the fight? We've gathered from this that Mama Tattletail is physically stronger and is less vulnerable. Meanwhile, Chucky has better speed, better durability, higher attack potency, better abilities, better weaponry, and better versatility. So on paper, Chucky definitely takes it. He's, he's definitely got way more advantages. However, Mama Tattletail does have a few advantages of her own. Firstly, of course, she's physically stronger than Chucky and also has several abilities that can counter Chucky's. For example, her possible resistance to magic Magic renders Chucky's magic useless. useless. Uh, her limited technology manipulation could interfere with things like Chucky's grenade, for example. Both of them are quite stealthy, and Chucky can lose his weapons, meanwhile Mama Tattletail has natural weapons, for example. And she can avoid uh, the soul transfer with Chucky possessing Mama, Ta Mama Tattletail via her teleportation. However, that is yeah, that is where the positives end for Mama Tattletail. Chucky just has higher attack potency with his grenades, and even if you don't count that, they're equal. Even if you do say that Mama Tattletail, Mama Tattletail has equal durability to Chucky, Chucky just outhacks his Mama Tattletail since. Uh, and also is just way faster, simply due to the fact that not only is Chucky literally hundreds of times faster than Mama Tattletail, meaning that Mama Tattletail's only opportunity to keep up is through teleportation, which would really translate to combat ability, Mama doesn't really have a way to take down Chucky, as Chucky's regeneration and mortality is just way too busted for Mama Tattletail to really deal with. And Chucky would either eventually just chip away at Mama Tattletail, or would find the time to possess Mama Tattletail due to his insane speed. You could argue that Mama would or could like like play off of Chucky's, you know, arrogance, but there's not really much that's like gonna change the fight since Chucky's general unkillableness is still something that she can't counter. So Chucky would win the fight. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.